G'day, Emma Poole here. I'm a wormwise facilitator in the Waikato region of New Zealand. Got a few messages today about calves and parasites. Now the thing with parasites is that at any one time, 95% of them are on the pasture rather than in the animal themselves. The ones on the pasture are called larvae and they can cause a problem with growth when it comes to calves. Now if your dairy farm's anything like ours, you probably don't have a heap of paddocks that are well enough fenced to contain your calves all of the time, which means you end up using the same paddocks year after year for calves. Now if we could move calves from paddock to paddock quickly and they just grazed off the top of grass, we'd have no parasite problem. They'd just grow so well and they'd hardly pick up any larvae. But most larvae live in the bottom two centimetres of grass and the top centimetre of soil, which means when you push calves a bit harder and ask them to graze lower, they pick up more larvae, which also means that they grow slower. Now eating a whole bunch of incoming larvae comes at an energy cost to the calf. They have to generate an immune response to kick those larvae back out, so it's a big waste of energy for them. So the less larvae that they eat, the better they're gonna grow. Now we could just drench our calves, and that does work well at removing the parasites inside the calf, but it does nothing for the larvae that are on the pasture. So when it comes to parasite management, we need to really think about managing the pasture rather than just managing the animal itself. To help reduce the larvae levels on the pasture of our calf paddocks, we turn the soil every couple of years. Leaving the soil fallow for the summer period helps to dry it out and desiccate some of those larvae, which means that the calves coming into those paddocks in the next season will have less of a larvae challenge to deal with, which usually means that they grow better. This is one of our calf paddocks with the new head of grass in it. As you can see, we're not asking the calves to grow too low, and there's some good tucker in there for them, as well as shelter, and the yards are nice and handy. One of the other ways that we reduce the amount of larvae our calves eat is by feeding lucerne silage in standing hay racks. This means that they're not grazing the grass as hard because they've got something else to fill up their tummy with. So when it comes to the cropping season, don't forget about your calf paddocks and have a think about re-sowing them and putting some new pasture in there so it's fresh and clean for the incoming calves the next season.